This uniform is a version of a Prussian life hussar, also known as uh, death's head hussars or Tottenkopf hussars. Um, it's not completely a, re a recreation of one of those uniforms, it's inspired by that, and I've done my own touches. But hussars in general, they were a, a kind of um, a force that originally started out in Hungary. Um, they say it was uh, they either became uh, mercenaries and or either became mercenaries directly from Hungary or originated in Serbian mercenaries working in Hungary who were then exported. But either way, when they were exported to other countries, particularly France and other neighbouring regions, they retained the Hungarian national uniform, or at least aspects of it. The police here with the fur lining, well, fur edging at least, the horizontal braid on the dolmen and the police, were things very characteristic of early Hungarian uniforms, or just uni um, civilian clothing, actually. The fur hat with the bag hanging off it, um, tight breeches with decorative knotwork on the thighs, all that kind of thing, were just aspects of traditional male Hungarian clothing. And so Hussars expanded out from Hungary to all sorts of countries. They became very, very popular in Prussia and France, and after that, other countries had to have them as well. Britain eventually got their own hussars quite a bit later than everyone else. Um, Italy, the Netherlands, the Scandinavian countries, uh, Spain, Portugal, everybody had to have them. And they all dressed pretty much the same way. Though often in far more colourful uniforms than this. The style of the Prussian hussars with the black uniforms and white highlights or silver, as in this case here, is actually quite an uh, anomaly. Not many other countries had that. The French had their um, death's head hussars as well, but they didn't last very long. They pretty much had one major engagement. They rode out, they fought, and they all died, pretty much. And there weren't enough of them to uh, constitute a unit anymore, so they were disbanded. Um, which is, uh, it's um, fitting, in a way, because the whole thing about the death's head here, it's not a, a threat to your enemy or seen as evil. They didn't have that in the, the 9th century. That's a totally modern thing. The skull here was meant to be um, about recognising your own mortality, uh, loyalty to your country until death, things like that. That's what the skull means. Uh, memento mori, you know, you are also mortal, that sort of thing. And, well, those French stars, they fulfilled the, the meaning of uh, their uh, skull symbology completely. So anyway, the hussars, like cavalry units, uh, they're armed with pistols, sabre, and sometimes carbines. That was perhaps a bit later on. Uh, carbines would hang from a belt like this, or be in a holster on their horses. But mainly they were looked at as light cavalry, and that was why they were specifically armed that way. Uh, they weren't armed or uh, had fighting techniques much different from a lot of different units, um, you know, uh, light dragoons, things like that. But they wore a specific sort of outfit. The outfit was all about status and having, you know, an exotic looking unit in your army and everybody had to have that was very enviable. So even though they weren't particularly different in their fighting style, they were still a sought after unit. It's all about having, it would increase the status of your army if you had hussars. So that's what they were. Um, Lately on the internet, now everybody thinks of hussars as being these Polish hussars. But mostly throughout history in Europe, nobody thought of Polish you know, hussars as being fellows in uh, light armour who 
with spears and uh, wings on their back. That's a totally modern thing exported from Poland. Perhaps, you know, though, those were a, a very famous thing within Poland, but it was not, not known outside of Poland. That's what I mean by modern. That's, that's a modern thing. We don't even even know if those people had wings or not. That's, again, a, a modern idea of what those fellows look like because it's just so unknown in history. It's, it's become a more modern sensation phenomenon. And uh, the Polish were known for their lances, but and la Polish lances became famous and another sought-after unit, just like the Hussars were, but not uh, heavy, heavy cavalry called Hussars. In, no, no, that was um, not something that existed till quite recently um, in sort of the popular popular mind. Um, yeah, it wasn't a big thing, especially not in the 19th century. So anyway, that's what uh, Hussars were.